Hello lovely viewers. Welcome to another episode of this course of my channel. Now in today's video in today's video we are going to look at how to get some images or resources for our work our work or our designs so I wouldn't waste much time we will get started but before we move on please like and subscribe for me and please also share the video and if you have any views or any problem related to this video or anything you want to learn from us you just make it known in the comment section and we are happy to help you thank you now I'll launch my browser so you connect your computer or your phone to the internet then you launch your browser okay so let's start with the PNG pictures the PNG pictures are the one which have no background okay normally the logos and icons the Facebook icons and stuff you normally see them in most of our designs so if you want to get this picture okay so when you come to your search bar on the search engine you just type in let's take example the Facebook logo we want the Facebook logo so you just type in Facebook logo we don't leave it just like that we are PNG so that it will give us the image without the background so that we can easily use for our work I'll show you the JPEG file how that one will come up so it's loading up the Facebook logo PNG so we see we have so many Facebook logos here PNG where we can download any of them and what's used for our works now when we are saving the images there's one thing we should look at let's see let me come to the images here don't just save the images directly from here okay we see the button under it that's the name of the website that's uploaded this so let's say if I want if I want this one I'll click on the website not the picture to save it I'll click on the website then it will load up if you save it straight from the Google you'll not get the high resolution picture so you make sure you click on the website when it comes up then you can save the picture from there okay so that's how it normally works it's loading so if I have a bit of slow network here okay so we have the logo here so I can see this is a picture I need so I'll right click on it then I'll find what save image as this is this okay so save image as and then a menu will appear or dialog box or whatever will appear where I would type in the name and choose the what location to what save it to okay there is a sorry as I said I have a bit of slow network let me save it to the desktop so this is the name Facebook whatever let me make it FB logo simple then I save it so you see downloading here download complete now let me close this let's try and see how the JPEG file or the JPEG image would have looked like so Facebook logo JPG okay and let's search for that as well and see how it's going to appear okay so with this JPG it's give us actual images okay although these are some most of the times we don't have Facebook pictures in JPEG you see we still have the PNG pictures here but they normally the JPEG files I don't think they even gave it a JPEG file yeah it would have been like something like this or something like this, this is a JPEG file this is also a JPEG file okay or this this is also a JPEG file but this is a vector image I think this is also a PNG yes icons PNG dot com so they even gave us most of them to be what the PNG now if you want any other image okay let's say the core 
the call sign or the call symbol you just type call png okay and it will give you so many pictures of the phone or the telephone whatever so that you can download one and use it for your work okay we have the calendar as well calendar calendar g png okay so i hope we get the idea these are all images with no background okay sometimes there will be this rough sketch background where you have to remove yourself okay but this is what these are the calendar png let's try this one last time calendar jpg then we move on to the rest okay so you see how the calendar jpg gave us a different resource okay so that's how it goes now let's look at the jpeg files normally we use the jpeg files in let's say the backgrounds or when we want a picture of a model and so much more so let's say you want some background from your work i for instance i use pin interest i have an account on pin interest where i go i get so many what pictures or yes so many pictures i need so let me try and see amazing background pictures and that will be what jpeg right but you don't even have to add it just type in amazing background pictures amazing so you see all these are some amazing pictures you can follow the website so that anytime you need a picture like that you just go there and download this is very nice let me follow the site and see so that i can be getting some extra pictures from there some sites you have to pay before you can use their pictures okay or they'll add their logos inside the pictures if you don't pay it the logos will be within the pictures okay but um most of the time there are some few sites who that give up pictures for free okay let's see like the pin interest i'm using although we have the premium version out there but they normally give most pictures for free okay but it would be better if you also pay to support the photographer who came out with the picture or whatever okay so this can even be found on pain interest i can see the pain interest logo here okay so if you want to save it you just right click save image as wait for it so we save image as then when we are yeah, done we will send it back to the okay so it will save to the desktop that's it download complete so whenever you need some of these pictures these are the basic things you have to follow don't ever save a picture from google or the search engine you are using just follow to their website and you get the high resolution picture from there okay don't ever save pictures from google i know why i'm repeating this one so much because normally i used to do it when i started designing whenever i needed pictures i just go to google wow i just go to google and just save picture from there and i saw that the resolution was too low i had too low resolution let me sh visit the pin interest so that you can see some of their works as well then we move on to the photoshop app and try and see how the png picture will look when we insert it okay sorry let me go to the official site okay so pin interest let's open up okay so this is pin interest so you just log in with your email or whatever 
I use it on the phone, so mind me if they are asking for me to log in here, okay? Because I use the phone, I've not logged in on the computer yet, but we get the idea, so let's just go back, okay? Now, so these are the pictures we downloaded the Facebook logo and this amazing background picture okay so I'll launch my Photoshop yes I will launch my Photoshop okay I was doing a work with a very huge size so it made my machine run a bit slow so you pardon me for today's video if it has affected us in any way please pardon me I'll make sure that next time gets okay so we have it here let me just create any Oh, it's still going to be white. So let me give it a solid color. I want to show us something. So let me just give it. Okay. Now I'll bring in the Facebook. So to bring it straight on this work, as last time I said it, you click on place. Then you select the picture. So the Facebook logo. Okay. So you see. In the website it had a white background but when it came here the background has been removed yes that's a png picture for you okay there will be no background you just get the exact logo you are looking for sometimes as i said the white background will not move away so you can use the background remover tools any of them to get rid of it when you want now let's try and open the background picture too this is it the jpeg file so this is a jpeg file as well you see we have a very high resolution when you zoom it in you can work with it it's very workable sometimes when you download it and bring it on board you see that the picture will be of too low quality you can check the resolution here you come to image size 96 it's okay 96 is manageable centimeters okay so the size everything is here but the resolution is what we needed okay you can increase it too if you want so that when you are working with it it will not be falling out of quality okay so i'll end today's video here this is just a short video showing you how you can you can what get pictures for your work whenever you need it if you have any problem or any ideas in the comment section you can give it out or if you want to learn any other thing or you want me to add up you just tell me in the comment section and I'll show or uh, make sure I go through that in the next video I upload thank you once again goodbye